developments, developments, and not good ones. Let me tell you something, my morning coffee changed to alcohol very, very quickly. This morning, calmly doing my rounds, having a little look-see, how was the night and all that business. Everybody has been glam camping a little bit outside already. The temperatures are mild, around 14, 15 degrees Celsius, especially those in the blooming alley. Three of those are on the table, my Lelia Bregeriae. She is on the left. She's, of course, a little bit more exposed. However, the Briarii was already showing something back when she was in the blooming alley. That's why she's on the table, because let me show you. My Catliantha White Bridal, new growth. We were talking about calcium nitrate, the timing of it, especially in my conditions, doing fantastically until this morning. What is going on at the tip? It looks very shredded. What is going on? Why is that there? And that isn't supposed to be there. It wasn't like that yesterday. Very happy days because four days ago I saw that my Catlia bicolor brasiliense was busting a move right at the base with a new growth. Woohoo! Cartwheels around the patio. This morning, that's when I changed to alcohol. I almost spurted out my coffee because same thing. It wasn't like that yesterday. What is going on? Why does it look shredded at the tip? At any given moment in time, if you know the answer, leave that in the comments because I have not seen any culprits. These orchids are clean. I had the same thing happen with my Bregeri when she was still in the blooming alley. She was on the iron shelf right at the back and well, I had something nibble on those growths as well with the exception of one. Thankfully, at that time, I had two growths starting. One was clean, one was looking good. The other one was getting nibbled on, or whatever is going on there. Also had a very shredded tip. Thankfully, it's progressing. It has since started a third growth, since it's moved into the little staging area I have behind me on the hedge. And the third growth has also been nibbled. Nibbled, whatever. I say the word because that's what it looks like, but it's brown and shredded. Now, thankfully, the second new growth is progressing, so I'm hoping that the third new growth will do the same. But of course, the damage to the leaf is done. And this morning, I saw the same thing happen on an already very well-developed new growth of my Catlia leopoldii. This growth is progressing beautifully. No nicks, no nothing. And ahem, look at it. What? Why? Now, I have been all morning very diligently going around with my garlic alcohol, painting every single nub and every single new growth that I could find on any of my orchids, and in some cases, the bases of others. Whether the growth showed signs of anything happening or not, they got painted. That was not part of the agenda today. Other things were on the agenda, but needs must, right? So all my nobilies got painted. They're all showing signs of new growth. My tortilla got painted so far, only two new growths. My bensonia got painted so far, four new growths. I'm telling you, I didn't care where it was on the patio. I was painting garlic alcohol. I just thought I was going to bring this to your attention simply because we were talking about calcium nitrate and I don't want anything further down in the season. Somebody to tell me that is because of a lack of calcium. It is not. All of these orchids have had their calcium nitrate and were developing very, very well. The symptoms we're seeing this morning, well, <clears throat> not calcium nitrate. This is something else. I'm going to let you know, by the way, did I say hello? Oh. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> like I said, opinions in the comments, please. Thank you for being here. I can tell you I rushed into this video super quick. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Hey, give this video a like, <laughs> much needed. And if you'd like to subscribe, follow the developments of all these new growths, that would be awesome. <laughs> Thank you so, so much. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, put your opinions in the comments because where I'm stood, let me tell you what I'm suspecting, not knowing any better. It's that every growth that has had a lot of happy sap on it, it is possible that right there the tissue has deteriorated because at every bract, let's see, on the Briargeri, the area of the tissue where there's a bract meeting another bract as the growth progresses on some of these growths, I've noticed at the tip of that bract, 
there's also like a nick, but that doesn't look shredded. It's more like a deterioration of the tissue, possibly because of the concentration of the happy sap. I am not sure. However, this is why I'm a little confused because my Briageri is outside. I didn't see any happy sap on the tip, maybe a little around the bract, but not much. I can say happy sap has been on my Leopoldidae, it has been on my white bridal, but not on my bicolor because this growth only just started busting the moves four days ago. So this is the status quo at the moment. I'm probably going to continue painting a little bit because I'm <laughs> paranoid now. I've got also my Aphilum cakey starting to produce new growths and I'm a little concerned. These three orchids are on the middle shelf of the Blooming Alley, so there is damage across the board there. My Birageri, as I mentioned, is on the staging area behind me, has nothing to do, is not close to any of these orchids. Meanwhile, none of these orchids live next to each other. On the top shelf, the amethyst that we've just recently repotted, that growth has not been affected, but it has been painted, as have all the growths on the top shelf, including the zygopetalums, any oncidiums. Oh, and let me tell you what happened on the top shelf. My Krista Erdman had three spikes forming. One of them is gone. one of them is gone and that was on the top shelf. Mr. Gecko hasn't come out. In the past he has never eaten anything of my orchids. The only thing he's broken was a spike because he miscalculated a jump. Okay, can happen. He's not been around just yet. But I had three spikes on my Krista Erdman. Now I only have two. So the remaining two have also been painted. Goodness me. Now, I have to go to the shops and get more alcohol because this was unprecedented. Anyway, let me know what you think. What do you see? Could it be something really, really bad going on? I'm a little concerned about the progress of my bicolor. I'm not concerned about the progress of the growth of the Leopoldii because that's already very advanced. But the bicolor, that is way too close to just being an eye about to form the next bract. That is not looking good. I don't like the look of that one at all. My white bridal, I think we're going to be okay, but leaf damage. Yippee, aye, aye. By the way, nothing is going on. There's no problem. Nothing's wrong with my durigan. That growth is absolutely fine, also calcium nitrate treated. Anyway, seeing as these candidates were in a video recently, I thought I would bring them back to your attention. I don't like what I'm seeing, concerned about what I'm seeing, upset about what I'm seeing. I could tell you a lot more, but that would not be very terms of service friendly here for YouTube. <laughs> so, let me know what you think. I appreciate every opinion. Thank you so, so much for watching. Have yourself a beautiful day on that one condition, though, please, that you stay safe. Take care. Bye.